Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. Spring has definitely sprung with lots of new seasonal arrivals this week, so grab your pen and paper because your shopping list this week is going to be a long one. So let's get started. Spring is springing and these cute ceramic bunnies are back for $5.99. A little late for St. Patty's Day, but the shamrock hydrangeas just arrived, which is still cute for Easter and spring for $7.99. Also, pussy willows are back for $4.99. Mini daffodils in a wooden box for $10.99. There's also Easter lilies, and these are pretty tall. I know it's kind of hard to tell from the video, and that's $7.99. And these beautiful succulents, they're also back this year, and they have the cutest name. It's called Hens and Chicken Garden, and they are $12.99 each. And check out these spring succulents in a basket for $12.99. I have to show you how cute they are, so let's take a closer look. It comes in this cute pastel colored basket. This would make such a cute gift for Easter or for a teacher or a housewarming gift. The pastel waxed amaryllis are back in lavender and green. Last year they also came in pink, but my store might just be out of them today, and these are $7.99. Unicorn Baby's Breath is also back, so pretty, and this is $4.99. There's so many flowers and plants to choose from now that it's spring, like this cute deluxe blooming pot for $7.99. These peekaboo cactus with little pink flowers are $6.99. And the first thing I saw heading straight into the store, how exciting, is the new lavender insulated tote bag. Okay, let's take a look inside. The inside is also a light lavender and has a side mesh pocket where you can keep your receipts. My store didn't have a limit to how many you can buy, and these are $7.99. And moving to the bakery section, there's a new salted caramel swirl danish. It comes with three danish pastries with salted caramel custard filling. There seems to be mixed reviews on this already. Some people thought this was amazing and some have said that it was just okay. I always recommend warming up any pastry in the toaster oven or air fryer just for a little bit because they will taste infinitely better. There's also a new Danish princess pastry but my store was already sold out of them. So then I went to another store and they were sold out of them as well. I'll show you guys what this looks like hopefully next week if my store has it or you can check out my Instagram because I did post it on there. Now moving to the freezer section to find another new item them, mini croissant swirls with chocolate chips. Eight croissants come in a pack. One croissant is 105 calories, six grams of fat, 85 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of carbs, four and a half grams of sugar, and one and a half gram of protein. These are ready to bake, so you don't need to proof them overnight, so it's super easy. And stay tuned until the end of the video for a review, and these are $3.99 a bag. Portuguese custard tarts are one of my favorite items. I literally stocked up on them so much the last few years that I'm going to take a break from them this year, which I might regret. You can heat them up in the oven, air fryer, or microwave, but if you use the microwave, you won't get the crispy crust effect, and these are $2.99 a box. And surprise, my store still had iced gingerbread squares left over, and the chocolate cheesecake bites are still hanging around from Valentine's Day for $4.99, and the gingerbread squares are also $4.99 a box. Now for more new items, a lot of people have been interested in the all-purpose disinfectant cleaner, which comes in a fresh citrus scent. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, and looks like it is 97.6% inert ingredients and 2.4% hydrogen peroxide cleans, disinfects, and deodorizes all this for $3.99. Trader Joe's loves a good theme, and this season, I think it's caramel season. So they came out with a new flavor, biscotti and brown butter and salted caramel. Look at those little chunks. So good with coffee or tea, or pair it with the new ice cream that I'm going to be showing you in a little bit. These are 60 calories a piece with five grams of sugar. This batch expires in November, so you have lots of time to eat it. And this is $4.99. You can enjoy the biscotti with the new organic dark Darjeeling white tea, 20 tea bags in a box, and it's a product of India, and these are also $4.99. Cookies and cream pretzel slims are also back, and these are a seasonal favorite for so many of you. I tried them last year, and they had a mild cookie and cream flavor, but it tasted mostly like a yogurt-covered pretzel, and these are $3.49 a bag. Here's another fan favorite, the Celebration Cake Mix. Now comes with new yellow packaging. Last year it came in like a whitish pink box with a slightly different name. It said Chromatic Celebration Cake, but I think we can all agree this year's packaging is way cuter. It comes with the cake mix, frosting mix, and rainbow sprinkles. It's basically Trader Joe's version of a Funfetti cake. 
Again, this would be so cute for Easter or a spring birthday. You can either make cupcakes or a round cake for it, and this is $4.99 a box. The Belgian cookie assortment is back. This is a seasonal item. This includes lemon flavored waffles, almond butter thins, and almond butter thins with strawberry bits. And here are the nutrition facts. My friends raved about these cookies last year, and I missed out on them because by the time I decided to get it, they were sold out. So I am definitely grabbing a box today, and these are $4.99. Also, the Springle Jangle is back. This includes mini yogurt covered pretzels, butter toffee peanuts, nonpareils with sprinkles, broken pieces of dark chocolate JoJo's cookie bark, and mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. This is such a yummy mix. This would be great for a movie night or if you have a party, or honestly just to keep in your pantry to have a little sweet something something when you're craving a little bit of sweetness after your meal, and these are $3.99 a bag. Another fan favorite has made a return. These sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie. These are butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. Last year I was debating whether to try this one or the strawberry one, and I went with the strawberry because I thought this one might be a little bit too sweet and now I can compare the two flavors because it was today's sample. Surprisingly, these were less sweet than the strawberry cookies. The cookies were a little bit soft but still had a little crunch to them. They tasted pretty much like a birthday cake in a cookie form. I actually really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would and these are $3.49 a box. The big bag of gourmet jelly beans are back for Easter. They sell the small box all year round for $2.49, but the big bag only comes out once a year in the spring. And just a reminder, Trader Joe's always uses veggie or fruit juice or spirulina extract for coloring instead of food dyes. And I guess these jelly beans are from an Irish factory, which is a fun fact. And these are $4.99 a bag. And there's more candy. Spring gummies are also back, which are so cute and again, perfect for Easter if you want to make a cute candy charcuterie board. I tried this a couple years ago and honestly, it wasn't my favorite, but I'm also not a huge gummy person. For those that enjoy softer gummies, these are for you and these are $3.49 a bag. More caramel items. There's a new Dulce de Leche ice cream, which is a caramel flavored ice cream with a smooth milk caramel swirl. I kind of wish it had some like crunchy bits in it, but you can pair this with the Belgian cookie assortment that I just showed you or the brown butter caramel biscotti for some crunch. The ingredients look moderately decent for an ice cream and this is $3.79 a pint. So this organic blue agave syrup was showcased in the freezer section and it was just staring at me in the face. So I wanted to share it just in case it might be a new item and this is $2.99. The sweet treats are endless guys. I spotted the chocolate and peanut butter JoJo sandwich cookies right as I was checking out. And I know a lot of you love the chocolate covered JoJo's. There's different flavors that come out throughout the year. There is a coffee flavored one that came out right around this time last year. So hopefully that'll be arriving soon. And eight come in a box for $3.49. And here's another favorite. The baked lemon ricotta has returned. It comes back twice a year now, once during the holidays and now in the springtime. You can pair this with graham crackers, animal crackers, or butter waffle cookies or fruit, but honestly, I prefer eating it by itself. It basically tastes like a light lemon cheesecake and honestly less calories than a slice you would get at Cheesecake Factory. The price has definitely gone up. This is $13.99 a pound. And the Dorothy's Garden Secrets cheese is back, which is a soft ripened cheese with basil, oregano, and sage. This is so cute because it's in the shape of a flower and you can eat the rind. This is $7.99. And the spicy buffalo cheddar is also a seasonal cheese. This has gotten really good reviews as well. Add this to a chicken sandwich or have it with pretzels and this is $8.99 a pound. The freeze-dried fig slices were new last year and I haven't seen them in a bit so these might be a seasonal item and these are $3.69 a bag. Also notice the organic Turkish apricots. Trader Joe's always has such a good selection of dried fruits and this is $4.99 a bag. Another new item is the organic couscous, which you can't miss in this bright blue box. This has six grams of protein per serving. If you guys have any couscous recipes, please share them with us down in the comments. It only contains one ingredient and it's super easy to make. You can just add water or a broth if you want it more flavored. You can add a little bit of butter or oil and this is $1.99 a box. This isn't new, but the basmati rice looks like it has new packaging in this bright blue bag. Trader Joe's also has an organic basmati and a brown basmati, and this is $3.29 a bag. The alkaline water is not new, but my store had some in the refrigerator. 
This includes electrolytes and this is zero calories. My friend told me alkaline water is basically just baking soda and water and this is 75 cents. A lot of sparkling beverages to choose from this spring like sparkling limeade, sparkling lemonade, sparkling berry lemonade for $3.69 and there's also Italian grapefruit soda for $3.49. Also lots of spindrift flavors right now. There's orange mango, grapefruit, raspberry lime, lemon, and then there's also tea and lemon. And an eight pack is $7.99. Lemon elderflower soda is also back. This one is slightly tart and it's $3.79 for a four pack. Also the rhubarb strawberry soda is back as well. And that's also $3.79. Also San Pellegrino sodas in orange, lemon, and grapefruit are $5.99 for a six pack. And there's lots of kombucha right now to choose from. They always have Trilogy throughout the year. And then Peach Paradise is a seasonal spring flavor. There's also strawberry lemonade, gingerade, and my favorite is pineapple. And these are $3.49 a bottle. Also peach bellini and strawberry and raspberry proseccos are back for $5.99 a bottle. Also spotted trading post by Trader Joe's. This is a Cabernet of Napa Valley. We saw this last year and I'm not sure if this is a seasonal item now or if they always carry this, but it's $19.99 a bottle and it's 14.5% alcohol per volume. And there's even more new items. There's a new scented candle trio. It has three scents, raspberry and roses, rhubarb and bamboo, and lemon verbena. Out of the three, the raspberry smelled the best and I couldn't really smell the rose. They have lead-free cotton wicks and are made with a soy wax, coconut oil, and beeswax blend with approximately 10 hours of burn time, product of Tunisia, and these are $9.99. The grapefruit candle is also back for spring and they still had some chocolate croissant candles left, which are my favorite for $3.99. The waffle weave cotton kitchen towels are also back. It comes in either red, blue, or green, and these are $7.99 for a three pack. Reusable sponge cloths for $3.99 and reusable silicone storage bags for $9.99. Trader Joe's really can be a one-stop shop if you want it to be. They carry so many items. They have liquid dish soap. This comes in a citrus scent and they also have one in lavender and these are $2.99 a bottle. Also the seasonal spring cards for Easter and Passover are here which are always so cute and fun to look at and such a great deal for 99 cents. And when you check out there's always a cute gift card selection to choose from. Okay that's it for shopping this week. Let's get straight into this week's haul. This haul is actually from a couple weeks ago but I thought I'd still share it. I was doing a modified Whole30 at the time so this was a cleaner haul. I got some freeze dried blueberries which are my favorite freeze dried fruit ground turkey to make some burgers. I enjoy the 99% lean because it's a little bit more dry, but it is a dollar more. And I've been on a zucchini kick lately. I love grilling this up and adding it to my meals. Love roasting up parsnips. I cut them into sticks and then make them into parsnips fries. Kohlrabi pasta. This is my second time getting it. It's very filling to have for a noodle substitute. I saute it in a pan with a little bit of avocado oil and it softens them up just a little bit and they still retain a lot of their crunch. Chicken soup for a quick meal and the new power to the red juice. This was very sweet and tasted like a strawberry watermelon candy in juice form. This was delicious, but it was very sweet. So I diluted it with some water and also got bananas, which were 19 cents a banana at the time. More on this later. And now for this week's Trader Joe's haul and more bananas. Officially, they are no longer 19 cents. They're 23 cents a banana now. The Murasaki sweet potatoes, which I love to roast up and drizzle nut butter or tahini over. I love the buttermilk ranch dressing. This tastes like restaurant quality. I love this on salads or sandwiches. And this is my first time trying the Belgian cookie assortment. A few of my friends raved about this. And by the time I finally decided to pick up a box last year, they were already sold out and I didn't want to miss it this year. This is another first for me. I really don't need another seasoning since I barely use them to be honest, but I have been curious about this ranch seasoning and thought I could add it to some Greek yogurt to make a dip with. Ran out of syrup, so I picked some up. 
And I'm a bit leery when it comes to jarred Alfredo sauces because I've never had a good one, but I have repeatedly heard good reviews on this lemon Alfredo sauce, so I finally decided to pick it up. The ingredients look moderately decent, so I'll keep you posted on it if I like it or not. And really excited to try the new mini croissant swirls with chocolate chips. This is the perfect trifecta. They are mini, they have chocolate chips, they're croissants, I mean, come on. Eight come in a bag. The instructions recommended 25 to 30 minutes at 350. 50 degrees but mine were done in about 20 minutes you can use your air fryer I'd probably set it a little lower at 320 or 330 degrees for about 10 minutes or so and just keep an eye on it so they don't burn this kind of reminded me of Danish because of the swirl form but with the texture of a flattened croissant and surprisingly there's a decent amount of chocolate chips in it so almost every bite is filled with chocolate and they cool down very quickly so they aren't as good at room temperature which is when I ate them after I filmed so I recommend eating them when they're still warm and crisp Okay, so overall these were a hit. I really enjoyed them. This is the perfect size to enjoy one or two with coffee So I definitely will be repurchasing this again before the season is over Tofu is pretty much a staple. I will pan fry it and just add it to a meal for a protein option Picked up some turkey to make sandwiches and also some turkey burgers another quick and easy meal option and then now for my Aldi haul Cauliflower was so cheap. These were smaller heads, but they were only $1.15, so I picked up two. Blackberries were also really cheap. They're not organic, but they were only 95 cents, so I picked up two packs. Trader Joe's carries Tete de Moi cheese rosettes during the holidays, and I've always been curious to try them. This is only $1.99, so I was like done and done. Also grabbed an onion and Roma tomatoes for sandwiches. And another steal of a deal was this bag of lemons. It was only 95 cents, so I grabbed it. I'll be adding some to the lemon Alfredo sauce maybe. And a bag of red delicious apples. These aren't my favorite, but this was on sale for $1.79, so I couldn't not not get it. So that's it for Trader Joe's this week, but let me show you what I got at Sam's Club. Yellow dragon fruit are in season right now, and they're such a good deal at Sam's Club. They're like four to five dollars for a three pack, so I'll keep getting them until they're out of season. I like squeezing lime juice on it and envy apples. These are my favorite. They are a must. Picked up some ground beef because it's a better deal when you buy the three pack and I like just having this in the freezer just in case I want to add it to pasta sauce or make chili. Always pick up mushrooms because I literally eat mushrooms every day, usually at breakfast. And I always get asparagus from Sam's Cub because they usually have the best price. And also a bag of organic broccoli to roast up and have throughout the week. So that is my quick Sam's Club haul. And then now for a miscellaneous grocery haul. A few more items from Sam's Club. I probably was getting gas and ran into the store real quick and decided to get another bag of asparagus and broccoli because I was already there. Also, they have the best deals for Sumo oranges too, so I just get it there instead of Trader Joe's. Also some green grapes. They have been extra sweet and really crunchy lately, so I've been really enjoying that. And now moving on to a different local grocery store. I got a bag of honey crisp apples because these were on sale. And if you can't tell by now, guys, I am a sucker for apples, and if they're on sale, then I will get it. Picked up a car toy for a gift, and these Good Pop sparkling beverages were on sale. I got two flavors, orange and lemon lime. It is sparkling water and just juice, and so I was thinking it was going to taste like Spindrift, but it actually tasted almost like soda. I really liked it. It was both sweet and tart. And then this is one of my favorite kombucha brands, and these are crazy expensive at Whole Foods or Sprouts, but they were on sale, so I grabbed three flavors. Blueberry basil is my favorite, and then it's Lavender Love is pretty good, and Raspberry Goji is my least favorite. And then I picked up some ground turkey because it was on sale. I rarely buy cheese unless it's the holidays or if it's on sale, and this was on sale, and so I decided to give it a try. Plus, sharp cheddar is one of my favorites. And then I picked up a bag of matcha and mushroom powder mix. Once in a while, I crave a matcha latte, and the ones I get from the store are just way too milky and not strong enough, so I'm excited to try making it at home. And that is it for all the hauls this week. I wanted to share with you one more thing. I went to a bakery with my friends, and everything looks so delicious that I had to film it and show you guys. We went to a new local bakery. They had croissants, donuts, breads, pastries. There was so much to choose from. They're mostly known for their cruffins, which are croissants in the shape of a muffin and they're filled with either some type of cream or jam. They also had danishes with fruit and custard, also savory items like 
bacon cheddar scones or hot dog croissants and also look at these beautiful cakes. My friend ended up getting one of these seasonal danishes which we ended up sharing and it was delicious and then my other friend got an Earl Grey Cruffin. So that's truly it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next video, ciao guys.